Watch this video to complete the Clap for Sight Reading Workbook page in the My First Piano Adventure Level B Writing Book. This is the Clap for Sight Reading page that goes along with My Pet Dragon. Let's prepare to begin. Go ahead and open up your writing book to the Clap for Sight Reading page. Make sure that you have a pencil and you'll also want a red colored pencil or another color of your choice for this exercise. Today we're going to be talking about sight reading. Remember that sight reading is when you look at a piece of music and you try to play it your very best to get it right the very first time. The word clap is a word that helps us remember the steps that give us the best shot to play it perfect. C stands for count, L stands for look at the starting notes, a stands for pay attention to what happens next, and P stands for play. On the page that you're looking at in your book, there are four different lines. Each of these lines has a sight reading example, and we're going to begin with this very first one. Now, do you see these letters that are written here by the star? G, F, E, and D? Our job is to look at the four measures that are on the other side of this line. So within this area that I'm putting in a red box here. And we're going to look for which one of these measures looks like it says G, F, E, and D. Now, these are written in C scale position. So G is going to be the very top note. So that's going to be one of our hints we're going to be looking for a measure that starts at the top note and one that moves by steps because G, F, E, and D are all steps away. So let's take a look at this first example. Can this be right? It does start at the top note, but I see two repeating notes and two more repeating notes. Those aren't steps. That can't be right. How about the next example? Could this be right? Well, I notice it doesn't start at the top note, so I know it's probably not right, but I also see here that there are only two notes. And my example to the left has four different notes, so it's definitely not right. Okay, let's keep going and let's look at the third measure. Is this one right? Well, I notice it does start at the top. That's a G right there. And it is moving by steps. It does say G, F, E, D. This one's right. The instructions tell us that we should color in the correct measure lightly, very lightly with a red pencil when we find it. So I'm going to clear off all of these drawings so that we can make this look nice. Let's say some magic words. How about abracadabra? Ready? Say it with me. Abra cadabra. That's much more clean. Now I'm going to use red to put a box around the correct measure here, but you should lightly shade yours over. You can pause the video if you need some more time to color it in. The next thing that we're going to do is play all four measures of music. We're going to start on the left hand side with that measure that has the repeating notes. And then we'll move from one measure to the very next one without pausing until we get to the end of the line. Get your hand ready to play. This is for your left hand because it's in the bass clef and the stems for the notes are pointing down. You're going to put your left hand pinky on bass C. That's one octave below middle C, and you'll have one note under each finger so that your thumb ends up on G. Go ahead and get your hand ready now. Now, once we start, it's very important that we don't stop no matter what. Even if we make a mistake, we're going to keep going. I'll play with you. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. How did you do? If you weren't completely happy with how you did, you can pause the video and attempt this one or two more times, then come back and we'll move on. 
Let's take a look at line two together also. I'm using a blue star this time. The notes here are C, D, E, F. These notes are also moving by steps just like the ones above it did, but now they're starting at the bottom and going up. That means that on the right side of this line, we want to be looking for a measure that starts on a bottom note and looks like it's moving up by steps. How about this first measure? Is it starting on a bottom note? No, it's starting at the top. That can't be right. Let's take a look at the next measure. Is it starting on a bottom note? Is it moving up by steps? One note at a time, four notes total? Yes, it is. This is the measure that we want to see. Let's clean this up. How about that magic word? Abra, cadabra. Oh, it worked again. That looks better. Thank you for your help. Let's go ahead and shade in that measure that we found that matches the letters off to the left. And now we're going to get ready to play this line, just like we played the line above. Once again, we're going to start with the measure all the way at the left, and then we'll move from one measure right to the next one until we get to the end of the line. Let's get ready to play by finding our starting note. The very first note, does it look like it's the top or the bottom note? That's right, it's the top note. And now let's pay attention to what happens next. The first measure, does it look like it's moving up or down? Yes, it's moving down by steps. The next measure is moving up by steps. We already know that. What's the third measure doing? It's moving down by steps too. And then where do we end? On the bottom note. Okay, let's prepare your hand to play. Can you put your left hand pinky on base C and get ready? One, two, ready, go. How did you do? Remember, if you want, you can always take one or two more chances to get it right. Just pause the video and take your time and then come back and we'll move forward. Okay, we've made it to line three. This time, I want you to take a look at the letters that are here and look at the measures off to the right. Can you tell which one matches these letters? Go ahead and pause the video until you have your answer, then start again to check and see if you're right. Okay, did you find your answer? If you're ready, we could say some magic words to reveal the right answer. Say, presto, changeo. Ready? One, two, three. Presto, changeo. That's right, it's the very first measure. Now it's time to get ready to sight read this example. I'm going to have you pause the video. I want you to look at where the starting note is and then look at what happens after that starting note so that you know what to expect in each measure. Once you feel like you're ready, go ahead and press play again and we'll begin. One, two, ready, go. did you do? If you want more chances to try to sight read it again, you can take one or two more opportunities. Just pause the video to do that and press play again when you're ready to move on to the last line. Okay, it's time for us to do the last line and you should be ready to do this on your own again. I'm going to have you look at the notes that are here and find the measure to the right that matches them. Press pause now and figure out which one it is. Okay, do you have your answer? If you're ready and you know which measure you think matches the letters, then we're going to say the magic words presto changeo to reveal the solution. One, two, three. 
Presto, changeo. Did you shade in the last measure on this line? It's the last measure that matches those first letters. Those first letters had a hint in them, two G's in a row. So we looked for a measure that also started with two of the same note. And now it's time for us to sight read this line of music. Just like before, we're going to start all the way to the left, and then we're going to go from one measure to the next measure until we get to the end of the line. I'd like you to prepare by looking at where your starting notes are, looking at what happens after those starting notes, and maybe you might want to play with your fingers lightly on top of the keys without making any noise. Once you're done, go ahead and come back and we will play through this together. Okay, let's do it. Make sure your hand is in the right place with a pinky on base C, and we will begin. One, two, ready, go. So how did you do? Remember, you can always try it one or two more times if you want to have some more opportunity to get it right. I'm proud of you. You've done some great work today. You sight read four lines of music. I'm going to give you a check, a star, a plus, and a smiley face for your work on this workbook page. Great job.